Let's get to our Two on Your Side newsroom, where our Michael Wooten is verifying a few of the claims being made about the shooting. Michael, as we know in this area, era of social media, a lot of misinformation out there as well. Yeah, that's right, Mary Alice and Scott, and that's why when you have a breaking news situation like this, it's good to pause for a moment and find out exactly what has been confirmed, what we know, and separate that from the rumors that are flying around. So here are three of the claims out there right now, and we've touched on this a lot over the past several minutes here, that two people were shot. That is true. It was a student and a security guard, as Kelly Dudzik just told us, the student there uh, at Children's Hospital at last check um, in surgery, the security guard with non-life-threatening injuries. So two people shot. I mean, early on there were other numbers being thrown about, um, but police very firm on that bit of information. The second claim here is that the shooting was inside the school. That is false. We learned uh, early on in this that it was outside the school. It was on school grounds, but it was not technically in the building. It apparently started with a fight. Um, there were again lots of rumors early on that it was inside uh, several different places mentioned, but that was false. It was not. And then finally, there is this claim that there was a threat that kept some students home today, a credible threat. This is something that right now is kind of staying in this question mark column. It is unconfirmed right now. We know that police are looking into this. We also have reported a lot over the past couple of weeks of a lot of fights and problems at McKinley High School, uh, but police right now trying to see if there was a credible threat and if that in fact did lead to some students staying home today. We'll let you know when we get a solid answer on that. Scott and Mary Alice, back to you. All right, we appreciate you separating the information from the misinformation. Yeah. Thank you, Michael.